guys and welcome back to our channel what's up you guys and welcome back to currently building generational wealth lifestyle i am one of your hosts i am the one the only and the flyers on today i am danielle bailey and of course god is the ultimate host you guys welcome back good morning i hope that everybody is having a wonderful wednesday thus far y'all make sure y'all continue to like and share this youtube channel and subscribe to it because we are growing we're like 600 i'm not 600 but six people away from being at 1200 subscribers and that is amazing like Yo, I was just at 730 subscribers like two weeks ago. But thank God for all y'all who have come over here and who have subscribed to this channel. Um, I am just so elated and excited. So, I wanted to go ahead and let's talk about today's video. Today's video is a plan with me video. So, we are going to plan out this week and we're going to look at the end of the year too as well. So, but before we jump into today's video, I want to give us a few church announcements, okay? Church announcement number one, do not forget the free one-on-one -on -one session with me. Please just email me at, you can email me at freedomtherapycenter at gmail.com and tell me why you will benefit from a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Some of you guys have already emailed me. Um, today is Tuesday that I'm recording this video and I plan on emailing y'all back today just letting you know that i received your email i'm off on monday so that's why i did not respond and some of y'all responded over the weekend so i am getting emails again i would select the ones um, i would select people on friday so again a one-on-one -on -one session with me is a 60 minute session come with your questions ready come just come ready okay come ready you will also leave with a it's a recorded session and you also will leave with a plan on what steps you need to do next that is my way of giving back so i'm only selecting three people right so i'm trying to select them from um youtube facebook and instagram so that's why i'm trying to select them from all media um all of my social media platforms so if you are not following me on instagram please go over there and follow me um it is at the millen at the millennial money therapist on instagram and follow freedom in the box too as well i'm going to put them in the description box below so don't forget the free one-on-one -on -one session and another thing a church announcement number two and i'm excited about it and i hope that you guys are too i am bringing back couch to private practice all right we are going to start back up that in january couch to private practice is what it is where i take 10 people okay and we work on your um private practice from scratch to finish or else um if you're not like if you haven't started or if you have started like you're still welcome to the program too so if you are interested in couch to private practice please by all means email me freedom therapy center at gmail.com and we can actually um schedule you an interview i'm going to link the pilot program video that i had uh, made a couple of months ago just detailing you and telling you what the couch to private practice um what couch to private practice is all about okay so i'm going to link the description box so you can go back and you can go and check that video out um i know i'm not sure if i say it in the um in the actual video but the price did go up okay so the price did go up the pilot the pilot program was the pilot program so the price did go up it is going to be i had some some people asked me about it and then i had set it at another price and their price ah. so right now today couch to private practice is going to be a thousand dollars okay because at first i was like oh we're gonna take it to fifteen hundred dollars and then i was like no but <laughs> so it's it is it's going to cost a thousand dollars however because i understand folks finances it there is a payment plan available either you can pay it up front that's cool or either you can take a four month pl payment plan of 250 dollars a month that is not bad okay we're gonna do 250 dollars a month for four months and that will be the thousand dollars y'all that is not bad at all okay like that is the cheapest that you're going to find somebody who is willing to work with you like that. And again, I'm only taking 10 people. So come on, it's a six month program, you guys. 
and we get you from couch to private practice. We talk about everything. We talking about time management. We're talking about um, how to diversify your income, get different incomes. We are talking about how to start your LLC. We are talking about how to market. We are talking about everything. We talking about how to find your niche and everything. Like what it is that you need to know all about private practice. We are talking about that in couch to private practice. All right. <sighs> that is that. That's all the church announcement. So jumping into the de in today's video, I mean this week's video, we're talking about planning. Y'all, I am my private, not my private practice, but my business coach talked about um, the importance of planning, right? And so um, I really and truly understand it now. Like, <laughs> I really and truly understand the importance of planning and so like i'm looking at my schedule and i'm looking at all the things that i am trying to do and i am just like planning 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 has to happen so this week my goal of how many people to see is about 25 okay 21 to 25 that's how many people that i want to see this week so right now i have scheduled one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven to thirteen thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So 22 people scheduled right now. So to meet my goal of 25, I probably will need about, I would say three to five because y'all know people be, people be, um, uh, people, y'all know they be, they be counseling. Okay. So I want to try to hit my goal of 25 this week. And so I might, I might call a few more people, try to see, I do have one person right now. She hasn't texted me back about um, her appointment. So, we're going to go with about, how many, I say with three, three to five more people. So, we can hit about 25 people this week, okay? So, and that's a lot. That's a lot of people. And with me trying, that's a lot of people, me working full-time, seeing people, and also trying to do the other things that I do, do as well. Um, so, we got about, we need about three more clients. So, clients if y'all watch this because some of y'all do watch my youtube videos and y'all see that if y'all ain't got no appointment y'all just go ahead and come on help y'all help y'all help therapists out okay help your therapist out um let's see so clients so that's we good on clients this week so i'm not even going to go over that because like before i started this video i text people like and when you are trying to make sure that you get your clients together i text i have a few people that i text every um at the top of the week because of their work schedule their work schedules are um are you know like they're hourly employees so they don't have set schedules so like i have to text about three or four people at the top of the week and be like hey what is your work schedule like and then they usually tell me what they that works best for them so i did all of that before i hopped on video so this week what we need to get accomplished okay i got a written down y'all um let's see i need to set aside some time in my work day to record youtube videos because y'all this can easily be an hour to record and and that's just to record just to, because i'll be trying to get my thoughts together and then sometime i'll be rambling and i'm trying to keep these videos short so an hour to record and probably like if i'm good at it probably like about 10 or 15 minutes to edit it it's not really much that i try to do when I give you a, a take, I try to get the one take. So that's why it takes me probably about an hour. So so an hour to record the videos. So what I'm thinking about is either where will I put that hour at? I may have to start working at eight o'clock. I may have to record videos at eight o'clock in the morning and um and go from there. But I'll be trying to get content. I think I'm going to start recording videos at 8 o'clock. So that means I got to get up early in the morning, child. Early in the morning. Mm. Hey. Hey. And I'm Hey. I know y'all are like, what is you singing? It's, it's, on, it's, it's a nasty song, so don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. So we're going to record YouTube videos at eight o'clock that what we're gonna do we're gonna do an eight o'clock run and that way we have like all day you know what i don't know either we may record youtube videos at eight o'clock or we may do something else i think i may work on my policy okay i'm going to include right now the policies that i need to update and re and rewrite okay i'm often include them right now 
because I said I was going to do it a week ago, but I didn't. So I need to, um, as you can see, you will see that it says build a strong foundation. So this is the policy. Either I need to rewrite it or either I need to create it. So my no-show policy, because it's the top of the year, I need to go over all of these again with my clients. This what I this is what I like to do at the top of the year. Go over all of this with my clients. So we got the no show policy. We got the late cancellation policy. Fifteen minute rules for being late about your appointment. Which reschedule three or more times and you are terminated from services. Um, missed appointments, co pays. If um, policies about if insurance companies does not do not um, pay the client is responsible. I got an EAP policy that I need to draft up. I, I kind of got some of these already drafted up too as well. Um, policies for my journals or planner. Again, you guys know that planners are going to go on sale soon. Um, requesting documentation. Any letter that needs to be written, I need to do that. I need a supervisor's contract. And you know what? I do need to write that. Go ahead and get that out to my um, LMSW. I don't need to update my resume. I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm a source out a speaking kit. Like I do want to source out a um, speaking kit for um for myself. And then I need a fee sheet. I need a fee sheet for speaking engagements, refund policy, fee sheet for CEU approval and policy for CEUs and a actual policy. I mean a fee sheet for upcoming CEUs. 2021. I plan on doing CEUs um just all together. So I need to have in my mind like a fee for ceus just in general okay oh and if i haven't told y'all i'm trying to do a um a social work conference next year right i know <laughs> girl jesus y'all pray for y'all pray for y'all um y'all pray for y'all um cousin over here okay i am trying to do a social work conference next year that i am excited and nervous about and it's about empowering other social workers so Y'all be on the lookout for that. And I need to create an intern policy because I want an intern. Intern. So those are the things that I need to do this week. That's policy-wise. But here over, over here on my, li on my list, I need to record a podcast. I Well, first of all, I need to revamp the podcast altogether. So I need to set aside time to... Um, record a podcast record a podcast intro do the artwork for the podcast record a podcast um try to find a theme song for the podcast and yeah so y'all will see that this week sometime this week or early part of next week like the whole podcast journey like how to start a podcast what um platform i use to host my podcast on and stuff like that so i right now i currently do have a podcast it's called southern therapy podcast but i'm not going that route i kind of stopped it okay so i want to do currently building generational wealth podcast is different from this channel in the aspect um so you'll have to go over there and listen to that podcast and really listen to what i'm trying to do on that podcast okay but the name is the same though because we try i'm trying to keep it a the board um let's see i also need to prep this week for couch to private practice meeting on saturday i also need to research a system that's going to help me keep um stay organized i really need that like when i was talking to my coach she was saying like the systems that you have are super duper important because they actually help keep you organized with what you need to do so i'm going to try out this um system called trello and it's, I think it's an organization system where you can, it's free. I heard about it, but I don't have much experience in it. But I do want to take some time out and really look into it and see how I can use it and how it could benefit me. I also need to, um, what else I need to do? I need to get things together for my website because I am going to get somebody. I am, I actually paid them half of the deposit today. For somebody to revamp Freedom Therapy website. Yeah, that website right now is straight up trash. <laughs> that website is straight up trash right now. So, like, I I contact the um, graphic designer. And so, she got, um, I told her what all I wanted. I'm not graphic designer. But, um, Camilla Davis. Make, I think her name is Camilla, Camille Daniels. That's what I think her name is. I'm going to put her name in the description box below. But I think her name is Camille Daniels. 
And so um, she has agreed to um, revamp the website and I need to get her the information over there and what I, you know, just the aesthetics and stuff like that. So I got to work on that this week too. I'm going to get this done, y'all. It's a lot, but I am going to get this done. And what else I need to do? Oh, I want to create some um, Canva. Canva is what I use for a lot of my marketing stuff. Um, This year, I don't know. I think I want to outsource the some of the stuff some of the flyers that i that i'm going to get for like my fee sheets and all that other kind of great stuff i'm gonna or i'm gonna outsource that to a graphic designer so that she can like create and so that when people like um ask me hey what is this what is this what is this and i can be like boom here's my here's my card or whatever you want to call it but yeah y'all that's a lot I'm just, I'm already feeling overwhelmed, like, dang, <sighs> on this day, damn, like, damn, that's what we got to do all this week, that's what we got to do all this week, yeah, so, let's get this together, y'all hold me accountable, I'm gonna hold y'all accountable as well, and I have a podcast meeting with, um, I'm doing this, y'all. When I say it's just a lot, it's just a lot, Jesus. Jesus, keep me near thy cross. Jesus. Whew. Yes, God. And I want to say this, okay? My scripture, I was this morning, I want to talk a little bit about scripture right now. I know this may be at the end of the video, and I may need to talk about it another day. But, but I want to say that. Okay, I want to say this scripture right here. I want I want to make sure I I look it up all the way. Um, I this morning, I was like getting up and I was getting dressed and stuff like that. And so, like, I was just saying how, um, girl, I got you. I was just saying, like, how, like, a lot of stuff was, that I've just been overwhelmed, okay? Like, there's a lot of stuff, okay? As y'all can see, my schedule for this week. And so, you know, I was just feeling overwhelmed and stuff and trying to expand, you know, group practice, going into a group practice, just trying to expand in 2021, and so, um, just not, and not knowing how to do a lot of this stuff that I'm trying to do, right? And so I was just like, you know, like a lot of this stuff that I am trying to do, like I have no, I have no recollection of it, but I just know I need to do it. Um, expanding into a group practice, that is something that I got to learn, like head on, and I'm, and I'm meeting some challenges too. So I was just like, God, like, wow, 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 wow. And so the scripture, I, and I was getting dressed. Like I, I had just woke up and I was just thinking about all of that. And the scripture that came to mind, and I want to say this, scriptures, the older I get, the more I understand like how to really and truly apply scripture to your life and how it, how it fits every area of your life, even in business, right? So follow me. So the scripture that I want to talk about is Psalms 23 and 4. It says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff comfort me. Y'all. I was just like, okay. You know, I've heard that scripture. We've heard that scripture all the time. And, you know, that scripture is not new. But it it resonated to me in a different way today because when they say, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Okay. Right now, sometime in this group practice thing, it feels like a valley. Okay? It feels like that I am in a valley. That I am walking through this valley and I am walking through it blindly. That's what it feels like sometimes. 
I'm walking through it blindly. I don't know what the heck. And it's just, it's, it's a valley. And so it talks about, you know, so when it goes on to say, I will feel no, I will feel, I will fear no evil. Sometimes like it gets scary because you don't know what you're doing. And that's why I, that's why I try to create the couch to private practice group because it's community and you're not walking through it by yourself. Um, and so when it says I will fear no evil and I had to remember like, Danielle, although you may be afraid, the scripture says I will fear no evil. And then it said, for thou art with me. And then I had to remind myself, God is with you. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me. Like he has already positioned and put things in place to help comfort me. So I have to remember that it's going to be okay. They, that though I'm walking through this valley, like I shall fear no evil. And even for me, I will even reword that a little bit just for me. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. I will not fear being overwhelmed. I will not fear being rejected. I will not fear being unknown or not knowing. Like all of that. I will fear, I will fear none of that. Okay? For thou is with me. God is already with me. And he has already provided comfort for me. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me. So like that scripture really and truly like when I say it stood out to me today, it stood out to me. Like I've never applied scripture. That that scripture right there, Psalms 23 and 4, I have never applied it in that context of me and business. I have always thought about it as you know, when you're going through stuff, like, like when you're going through stuff, as far as in feelings and, you know, like you just had, you falling on hard times. Never would I have thought to apply this scripture to my business. Never. But that goes to show you that the, the word is a lip. When they say the word is the living word, it is the living word. And it can be applied to every area and every aspect of your life if you let it. Okay? So, that's what I got for y'all today. I know that this video is a little bit longer, but I hope that this video encourages somebody on today. Psalms 23 and 4, that is what we're standing on. Especially me. That may be my scripture for 2021. Yea, through, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff comfort me. That is a word, and that's what we need to stand on. All right, y'all. So, I will see you lovely, wonderful ladies again on Thursday. Thank y'all so lovely, lovely ladies and guys. Excuse me. And guys, and thank y'all so much for rocking with me. And um, I'll talk to y'all a little bit later. Bye.